What it do, Beauty Crew, it is your boy Finance B here, back with another brand new video today. Today we're gonna be learning a little bit about grinds. Yes, that's right, this is the style guide to grinds for beginners with your host, yours truly, Finance B. So I put up an Instagram query on my story last night asking if anyone needed advice on their grinds. You guys came up with a lot of good questions. So I'm basically gonna run through all of these questions today and just give you some demonstrations and examples of how you can actually improve your grind game. It's very, very important to actually have an overall understanding of how to grind properly and make it easier for yourself. So that's what we're gonna be learning today. All right, if you guys enjoy this content, you know what to do, smash like, subscribe if you're new, grab a scoot, and let's get it done, ready? Okay, so you're gonna need two main things for ledge prep. If you live in a wet area or a snowy area, then a squeegee would help, because if you roll up to the park and there's still droplets of water on the ledge, all you gotta do is run it one time along, and then it's basically good to go. Then, if it has been wet or you can see rust all over the curbing, if you come looking close, you can see that this is a very rusty old ledge. So once you add water to this mix, that's when the rust really builds up and starts what we call biting. Now, biting is what happens when you jump on and it doesn't slide, so you're getting, getting chomped. You don't want this. So grab a block of wax, don't overdo it. Firm pressure right on the edge, slide it all the way to the end once, flip it over on the face, and wax it once this way too. That's gonna make sure that you don't overdo it, but there's gonna be enough coverage on the front face to let your wheel slide, and the top face to make sure your deck goes where you want it. Feeble Smith to whip out. How do I do these? So Feeble Smiths are like the go-to ledge progression to most riders. If you like them, lean into them. There's loads of different tricks that you can do in, out, and in between. Pegs, they obviously help. Also round coping ledges and quarters are also a great place to learn, but if you keep your head over your bars at all times, don't sit back, don't lean forward too much, just head right over your bars. Make sure that your feet placement is towards the rear of the deck. I like to have my own foot rubbing up against my brake. Make sure you guys go in with speed. Wax is gonna help this. You wanna be grinding at the same pace that you'd normally just casually be riding around. So let me give you an example right here. So you want to be pretty snappy with that trick. The feeble is obviously very, very quick. With feebles, it's important to keep your head right over your bars. With smiths, you do want to sit back just that tiny bit, especially if you're going to trick out of the grind. If you want to spin out, you're going to have to wind it up with your shoulders and neck. But if you're doing whips, bars, anything else, you kind of just want to sit back, jump, and then toss your trick. Next question. I keep putting my foot down. How do I stop that? So this isn't very grind specific, but the key to this is tell yourself that you can already do this trick. Don't get that confused with telling your buddies that you can do tricks that you really can't. Definitely don't do that. Maybe practice catching some flyout whips with the foot you don't normally catch with. If I go to do a whip, my catch foot is my right foot. So if you're putting this left foot down to save yourself, maybe try and practice catching with the other foot. That feels really unnatural though. 
Oof. It's my bad leg too. What was the rest of my point? So doing this catching with your save foot is going to train the mind and the muscle memory to actually remember that the foot needs to go on the deck, not on the floor. OK, how do you keep your balance on a rail? So when I approach a rail or ledge, I usually time the movement as smoothly as possible, kind of pick my deck placement and just let the rail take me where I need to go. Pick the best moment to hop out, finish your trick. You'd be much better off asking someone like Kai or Juzzy on balance points specifically because riders who are great with front wheel tricks, nose manis and so on, they generally have a great natural sense of balance. Our good friend Corey Griffith is here. He's going to tell us how he balances during a grind. It's all in your knees, really. Kind of like on a skateboard when people use their arms. You don't want to be stiff on a rail, because if you jump on straight leg and try not to balance yourself, you just got to slip out, have your knees bent, and grind your way through it, I guess. Couldn't have said it better myself. Yeah, I mean, ultimately, I would say that keeping your spot on any grind would come down to trusting that you're going to slide like butter. Once you take out all the fear factor, or at least as much fear factor as possible, kind of stay loose, bend your knees, and then you're going to be more comfortable on the rail. And cut. Back lips on a rail. I can do them, but they never get any easier or less scary. So what you want to do, find a flat bar. We have one here. Back lip the very end. Point those toes a little bit, keep those knees bent, but point the toes. All your weight you want in your toes. Gradually, backside lip further and further and further down the rail until you're literally riding up straight behind it, jumping into back lip and hitting the whole thing and staying straight. Remember, weight in your toes. Watch this. Advice on spinning front side out of grinds, Corey. <laughs> you don't get it, he can't spin front side. But generally speaking, you want to lead with your head and shoulders like I mentioned before, and uh, keep those arms and legs tight, close to your body once you're in the spin. This will help. That's all I got. <laughs> Yeah, that was nice. Is going from a 22 inch to a 23 inch hard? Okay, well I wouldn't say it's hard per se. I would say it's beneficial for certain tricks. Things like tie tabs, manuals, etc. Anyone with a shoe size that's like 11 and a half to 13 should be on something more comfortable. Downsides would be whip combos and overheads. If you like to boost bowls, streets, ledges, techie stuff, then definitely grab something that's 5'5 five five or more by 23. I don't know, there's just something about sitting further back on your deck that just makes it way more relaxing to scoot. If you haven't tried a 23, maybe have a go on someone else's and just see how you like it, see how you find it. Do the tricks that you would normally do on it. And if you hate it, don't ride it. <laughs> Why do I keep getting stuck on hurricanes? Because you need more wax. I have a tough time getting onto rails without dropping a foot. Any advice? OK, well, if you're at this stage of, of rail grinds, like the very earliest stage where you can't actually get into them yet, go for the stalls. Stalls on quarter pipes are just grinds but stationary. Right, you can do them on curbs, ledges, anything. You can just ride up to it and hop on and just balance. Practice your balance. You need to get really comfortable with jumping in and out of stalls to the point where you're no longer relying on your heels to complete the trick. Get used to the metal to metal contact and build up that muscle memory. Once you have a few stalls down, take them to a ledge or a rail. So I'll show you some stalls that you can learn. I'm going to show you the difference between a good feeble grind and a bad feeble grind or an ugly feeble grind. Okay, here's the ugly one first. So the number one important tip for this, right, when you do a bad feeble, you can see that 
The rear end of my deck was not locked into the coping. It needs to be. My heel was all over the ledge for balance. Like I was grinding like this, basically. You want deck locked in, weight in the toes, head above your bars, wheel pointing in a very, very straight line to where you want to go. And once you get closer and closer and closer to the edge, you just want to steer in towards the edge and roll right off the side and you're done. And it's beautiful. I can't slide along the ledge and I'm scared of slipping off. It comes back to the same points. Keep your head over your bars. Start with feebles. Practice holding them for as long as possible before you got to jump out. The more you practice this, the more familiar you're going to become with knowing your sweet spot. Now the sweet spot is what I would like to compare with the balance bar in Tony Hawk. You're in a grind or a manual and you're tipping one way or the other. If you tip too far one way, it's over and you're going to fall. Other times you'll know that you're in your sweet spot, so you'll know when to commit. But it's all good to mess up tricks. Just run it back, try it again. Want to get past that ledge. When you get hella good, you can just throw an improv like that. I wanted to go all the way down, but since the ledge was there, I just thought about it in the moment, did it, done. I'm 5'9 with size 10 shoes. What would be the best deck size? I don't know about the best, but I think the biggest you'd want to go is 5'5 five five by 21 and a half, 22. How tall are you, 6'1? No, definitely not. What? How tall? Come here. What size is yours? 5'5, five five, 22. I don't like your 22, but that, I've been on a 23 for so long, so I don't really have much of a say on this one, honestly. I just think the biggest you'd want to go is 22. Front boards are a bitch. I kind of do them, but just not hold them. Advice would be helpful. Biting on a front board or a back lip is a real painful process. So be sure that your rail is very buttery. Lock those arms up. Like with any grind, like the back lip example you had before, it does pay to start with a tiny piece of the rail first and just add more and more and more of that same rail until you've got your muscle memory built up. episode of Style Guide with yours truly, Scooter Brad. I hope you guys learned a little thing or two about grind, balance, entry point, exit point, progression, waxing, all that stuff. If you did, you know what to do. Let me know in the comments down below what you want to see next here on the Style Guide. And with that being said, it's been your boy, Finance B. It's another video done for me, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Have an amazing day. Do you have levels? Pee pee, big pee pee, pee pee in the boat. Um, should I start? I got dirt or some shit in here. Got a bit of throttle grip, mate. Okay. <clears throat> Going with speed, use wax. Hach! <laughs> An H3 in this bitch. <laughs> Corey, you wanna do rail tricks for the vid? Damn it. <laughs> Back lips on a rail. I can do them, but they never get any less easy. Wait. Ow. One, uh, one thing about white dicks, huh?